The shack, new feature, rock walls and part of the basement. Parking around the shack is quite challenging. One day we had 43 people on site. There was carpenters, electricians, stonemasons, plasterers, renderers, roofers and painters. So here we are, Tom, we're uh, on ground level, just outside the kitchen under the eaves. Guys, here we are in another feature area here. I reckon you should We've change the okay. intro. You say the same thing every oh, do time. I? Hey fuckheads, how are ya? John said that's an inclusive word, so we're allowed to use it. Because we can't sue guys or gals because that's exclusive, but fuckheads covers everyone yeah. and there's no segregation on that one because you have to prove yourself you're not a fuckwit or fuckhead and there, there you go, game on. That's very neutral, good to go. And if John says we're allowed to use it, we're allowed to use it, guys. So here we are, north elevation, yeah. some feet underneath here. We, you can see these have, we have these uh, hanging timbers here. It looks quite weird at the moment, but when it's finished, it's going to look really good. We're going to cut all of these to the same height as this top bit of angle up the top here. And that will create a beautiful little nib wall or hung blade wall underneath, which will follow all the way along here to this feature blade wall, which is up above here, which John might switch over to that to see what it looks like. Uh, we're picking up that blade above, which yeah. you'll see in the um, insert, and this will be all millboard finish under here like all the eaves. But that has been changed. John has changed that again. Changed it to millboard because of some other widget. thing. They'll just look random. I think it's changed is John's middle name. John changed gear on. There you go. At least Frankie made some film time. He's happy. Now the scaffolding's down a bit. You can get a bit more of an idea on the blade. You can see the feature wall down there and going down through here. I'm here with Simone from Collective Interiors and, his, and her daughter and with Frankie trying to work out the drains. So there's so many things I could say about that, but I'm not going to with Frankie. Well, there's just really going to the drains. Like, yeah. The biggest one. <laughs> is John it? always goes with the biggest one. If you're going to be a bear, be a grizzly. That's right. And I reckon he, what he uh, lacks for somewhere, he makes up. <laughs> so Frankie clearly has no uh, filter because he's, Simone's daughter's here. Doing these intricate stone walls is a bit like a reverse or a bit like a jigsaw. Take all these bits from down here and bang them all up into there and fill it so there's no gaps. Do it as one big seamless uh, rock wall. Easy. It's a bit challenging here. They're trying to meet where the stone meets the millboard and trying to get a really good line along the top here. Every stone the boys have to trim and cut it down to size to get it close to a fit. After they grind out a fair chunk of the stone to get it close, then they get the chisel out and chisel off the rest so it's a seamless fit. The boys here, one's from Brazil, one's from Colombia. Someone said Colombia's make great stonemasons because they're really comfortable around white powder, but that's not quite right. Here's the boys banging it up. There you go. How's it going? <laughs> Just chiseling it down to get it in here. Look how awesome this is along here. Sensational boys. <laughs> it's all happening. <laughs> As you can hear in the background, he's got the doof doof on, lays way more stone that way. <laughs> Look at the stonework on this corner, amazing. Doing some solar panels up here on the roof. Trade on the job here. We're the biggest, the healthiest. The, the Gold Coast solar guru, Nick Foley, over there in the black hat. So, how many square meters are up here, Dan? I reckon, rough guess, about 75. What do you reckon, Nick? Yeah, I reckon so. 75. Yeah. Your brother. If you ask a simple question, you get absolute uncertainty. <laughs> 19 kilowatts worth of solar panels, bifacial, pono. No. So, how many of these uh, panels have you got coming in today? 42 panels. 42, 440 watt, bifacial. So, that worked good on, on the white roof. Alright. It'll be enough for now. We've got our exposed column here with our cave flashing, with our barge cappings and aprons. Beautiful day. So all the solar panels are being popped in now. All behind me here are about 74 square metres of solar right across in between the skylights to the office and the big skylight down over the uh, lift well. So this is what it looks like with all the solar panels in place. Here's Grothy, the electrical mastermind. 
behind all the wiring in the shack. I love his can-do attitude. With all my changes, he goes, yep, okay, we can do that. We have a lot of little hidden features in these little down lights around the skylight. And we've also got them around the doors. This is it before I got plastered in. And that's with it all plastered in and set. I've covered a lot of things happening upstairs, but it's all happening in the basement as well. The exposed blocks just look ugly. The boys down here are rendering the walls. At a later stage, you'll be painted white. Off the garage, we've got the workshop and storage rooms. The air conditioning being fitted now. This hallway leads straight down to the wine room. Behind me here is Dan and Frankie's to-do list. There and over here. You'll see in the video, which unfortunately there is a sound, is uh, very scary. They're bitching like a couple of old married couple. As I've always said, you've got a to-do list, you do this, to do that, you're doing it all over yourself. I prefer to be more of an action list. Anyway, you'll see the video and I'll uh, put some words over the top of the action. I saw their whiteboard list, I said, God, they're not square, they're not straight. And then it all went pear-shaped. They were arguing, Frankie saying, no, nah, he's absolutely straight. Dan saying, no, it isn't. And he's getting out of level to have check it out. End result was, both of them weren't level. God, you think with the amount of levels they had around the house, the amount of carpenters, they ought to get these things up level. Anyway, they were close. Frankie's saying, look, absolutely, his looks way better. It's neater and tidier than what Dan's is. Friday afternoon, things are a bit quiet. Idle hands of the devil's workshop, and these two are a clear example of that. Now they're each trying to sell me the benefits of their whiteboards. Frankie's saying, but look, my mark is attached to the whiteboard. How awesome's that? Yeah, I hope you stick things to the house better than that pen to that board. So he cracked it because I broke his pen. Anyway, I left the room, come back, and they're still bitching. If you got this far, thanks for watching.